So my wife was given this Syngonium houseplant a while back, and she ended up snapping off all the the tops that were on it. They were, I guess, kind of loosely attached. And uh, it's all coming back really well. Looks great. And she put those in this jar of water. Look at those. Look at the roots. And if you look closely, we can see some. They're in there. There they are, mosquito wigglers. So we usually fill this water, keep topping it off with fish tank water. So what I choose to do is use this stuff, this, they're called mosquito dunks. No, it's not sponsored. Uh, and they are these wafers like this. You drop them in ponds or bird baths or whatever. And it is a live bacteria that only affects mosquitoes. And what it does is it stops them in their tracks. It's a juvenile growth regulator. And so the tumblers are this, one of the stages after eggs hatch. Uh, and then they will go into, a, like, I guess, kind of a pupa uh, and then come out as adults, fly away and bite your ass. Um, so what I do is I bust these up, uh, let's find it there, into smaller pieces. And since this is just such a small jar, we don't even need this much. So let's see if I can bust off a, a chunk. All right, so I busted off this smaller chunk and I'm just gonna drop this in. And it'll, uh, it'll hydrate and it'll start giving off its magic. And what happens, it doesn't kill those little tumblers outright, it just stops them from going into the adult stage and then they die. So it's a great way to control them. So you can do that in a pond, assuming you don't have fish in a pond that are eating all the mosquitoes, but you can do that in a pond or any, any body of water. But it works great in, uh, in these jars of, uh, of water with rooted cuttings. I've got another one, another part of the house that I also have shrimp in and it's safe for shrimp. So it's safe for fish, safe for shrimp. And all it does is take out the mosquitoes. I'll show you that jar. So here's the, it's a one gallon jar and I've got substrate in it. And uh, uh, there's some neocaridina in here somewhere. Never find them when I want them, but they're in there. And on top there's an anthurium and a pothos and hiding in the back here is the philodendron. And occasionally mosquitoes will end up swimming around in here. So I just dropped a couple pieces, small pieces of that, um, that wafer here. And then let me show you the last jar. And here's the last one with, with, this, with, with, with this Tracina. Um, and it's well rooted, obviously. And it's been like this in this jar for a long, long time. We top it off with tank water. One thing you want to remember is this stuff is still considered a pesticide, so you want to treat it as such. Make sure you do what the label says. Keep it out of the reach of children. Read the label. Anytime you're using any kind of pesticide, you should read the label. Uh, read the exemptions, read the warnings, read the instructions, and apply accordingly. So the active ingredient is this Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies Israeliensis. And any of you tomato gardeners, uh, or anybody else that grows broccoli or cauliflower out there, you probably use something called BT, or Bacillus thuringiensis. This one is specific to mosquitoes, the Israeliensis. And uh, it, it's safe. And if you have that problem where you're growing plants uh, aquatically, but you're not, uh, you don't have fish to, to deal with the eggs of the mosquitoes, uh, mosquito, what do they call them? mosquito fish, uh, gambusia, I believe. Try this or something like it. And I got these at Home Despot. So anyway, as always, thanks for looking.